Thank you so much, guys. We are so excited to bring you a part of something special tonight. Tonight's service is going to be over the top. We are so excited because God has a word for you. I want you to sit back, relax, and get ready for this word. Now, do me a favor. Before we get started, I want you to share this message. Invite people to be on. Say that the service is about to go live, and you do not want to miss this. So get ready as we go deeper into the word. talk about grace, but grace is a favor. It's something we did not deserve or we did not think about. I was telling the class that the Old Testament saint looked towards the cross, which is by faith. But then, Roderick, we look back at the cross, which is through. We through with it because the cross was for a 
season showing the crucifixion. But then we get what you call now fan. Yes, Doctor, if I'm through with something, that means it's finishing. His last words on the cross were, it is finished. Y'all yes. follow me? Yes, so then when you look at grace, if grace don't run through faith, you ain't got grace. Just be very careful now. Say grace, grace has, to has to run through faith. Or I ain't got grace. Oh, oh y'all don't hear me. Glad you asked. You see, grace means favor. But when you get favor, you got to believe you're going to get it. And that's where faith coming in. Look at the word now. By faith are we, or by grace are we saved through faith. So grace got to run through faith to be perfected. I prove it. Faith has to be mixed with works. Or you don't have no faith. Show me your faith without works. And I'll show you mine by my works. Y'all follow me? So without works, you don't have faith. The same thing with grace. If it don't run through faith, you ain't got it. How you know, Bishop? But without faith, it's impossible to please him. Y'all follow me? So without faith, you can't please God. Y'all follow me? I had grace. Well, you may have had great, but it ran through faith. I bet you that. You get nothing without faith. Y'all follow me? Nothing come without faith. Not even grace. When he gave it to me, yeah, if you believe it, come on out of here. You can have grace, go get a go out and get the car, but your faith go pick it up. Look at somebody that smiles. I didn't know that, but I'm gonna learn now. <laughs> Bow your head. Father, we thank you for your faith and your grace, your mercy and everything. Touch the people, give them my mind to understand, open up their understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. May you take your seats. Amen. Now, oh. yeah, we asked a good time in the middle of class right there. I'll I be liking it. Yes, sir. Because they were trying to get the old man sometime. <laughs> and they asked me a different question, but I mean, you can't put me in a corner. Yes, Amen. Because I own the corner. Come on out of here. <laughs> See, watch this here. Now, you have to understand something now. Ephesians 2 and 8, real quick for me. Now, I also, uh, James, real quick. James, the, uh, James, the second chapter. James 2, uh, James 4, y'all follow me? And let's, uh, James 2, 4, let's read it real quick. And 14, read for me. James 2 and 14. Go ahead. What profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith uh -huh. and have not works, Go ahead. can faith save him? In other words, faith cannot save you without works. How you know, Bishop? If thou come confess with my, my mouth and believe in my heart, thou shalt be saved. My words is that I have to believe and I have to confess with my mouth or I cannot be saved. Y'all follow me? So you, you, you can talk all you want to. If you don't say I'm saved, it don't work. Read for me. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food. Read it. And one of you say unto them. Read Depart in peace. Read Be warmed and filled. Read Notwithstanding ye give them th those things. Go to work and give it to them. Read from it. Which are needful to the body. Read What does it profit? Read Even so faith. Read If it have not worked. Read Is dead. What, what now? Is dead. It don't work. It don't work. I thought faith, no. Faith can only work with works. Hold it. Don't go nowhere. Ose Brown, Romans the fourth chapter real quick. Jump down uh, 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 to the 17th verse real quick. And let's read it. 
Romans 4 and 17. Read it. As it is written. Read I made thee a father. Read A many nations. Read Before him. Read Whom he believed. Read it, sir. Even God. Read Who quickeneth the day. Uh-huh. And calleth those things. Read it. Which be not. Read it. As though they were. Go ahead, sir. Who against hope. God had to say something to make faith work. Read from it. Who against hope Read. believed in hope Read it. that he might become Read it. the father of many nations Read, sir. according to that Read. which was spoken. In other words, the words were spoken at a hundred years old. Your wife's going to be 90. I'm going to give you a towel. That's some strong words, Bishop. Oh, yeah. Did Abraham believe it? Oh, yeah. Did Sarah believe it? Uh-uh. Watch this here. Hold it now. I got to hear it. Don't no, 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 leave my paper now. Don't leave my down. Genesis right quick. 18. Begin the 10th verse and read for me. Genesis 18 and 10. Read. And he said. Read. I will certainly return unto thee. Read it. Now oh. here is God talk, talk. Read for me. According to the time of life. Read it. And lo, Sarah thy wife. Read. Shall have a son. Read. And Sarah heard it in the tent door. Read it. Which was behind him. Uh-huh. Now Abraham and Sarah was old. Read. And well stricken in age. Uh-huh. And it ceased to be with Sarah. Read. After the manner of women. Uh-huh. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself. She did what? She laughed within herself. Read it. Saying, after I am waxed old, Read it. shall I have pleasure? And my Lord be an old also. I don't believe it. Read for me. And the Lord said unto Abraham, uh -huh. Wherefore did Sarah laugh? Read. Saying, shall I have a surety bear a child? Read, sir. Which am old. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Read it. At the time appointed. What now? At the time. At appointed point. time. And God had appointed all of us a time for everything. You are not appointed today you appointed for you are born yes sir you sit here before you was even born read from it at the time appointed read it i will return unto thee according to the time of life read it and sarah shall have a son do what now and sarah shall have a son read then sarah denied uh -huh. saying i laugh not read for she was afraid Hold it. now genesis 17 and 13 read from it Genesis 17 and 13. Read it. He that is born in thy house. Read. And he that is brought up with thy money. Read it. Must needs be circumcised. Read it. And my covenant shall be in your flesh. Read it. For an everlasting covenant. Read it. And the uncircumcised man child. Read it. Whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised. Read it. That soul shall be cut off. Read it. From his people. Uh huh. He hath broken my covenant. Read it. And God said unto Abraham. Read it. As for Sarah. What now? As for Sarah. Read it. Thy wife, uh -huh. thou shall not call her name Sarah. Read, sir. But Sarah you shall tell be somebody her. God gonna change my name to tell her. God gonna change my name. Read it, and I will bless her. Read, and give thee a son. Read, also of her. Read, and yea, I will bless her. Read, and she shall be a mother of nations. Read, kings of people. Read, shall be of her. Read, then Abraham fell upon his face. Read, and laughed. What? And laughed. Come on out of here. They both laughed. That's right. Huh? I'm about 90 years old now. I'm going to get a child. Sarah laughed. Abraham laughed. If you were a hunter, you'd laugh too. Well, <laughs> you ain't going to believe it. You ain't going to believe it. Now, now let, me sh let me show you why Abraham believed God. You see, Abraham believed God called something he did. Genesis 23, 2 from real quick. Begin to read about the 13th verse from real quick. Genesis 22 and about 1. Read it for me. Genesis 22 and 1. Read. And it came to pass. Uh -huh. After these things. Read. That God did tempt Abraham. Now that word tempt there means he tried him. God don't tempt nobody. Read for me. And said unto him, Read. Abraham. Uh huh. And he said, Behold, here I am. Read it. And he said, Take now thine son. Read it. Thine only son. Uh huh. Isaac, whom thou lovest. Read it. And get thee into the land. Now, for you that do not know, that's why he became the father of all nations. He did something God did. He gave his only son to death. Read it for me. 
and offer him therefore a burnt offering Rita. upon a one of the mountains. Uh -huh. wait, 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 wait. He never told him what mountain. Glad you asked. Before God tell you the whole thing, you gotta move and do something. Well, Lord, uh, show me. You do something, and I'll show you. You start walking, and I'll show you. You go to the car lot, and I'll show you what car. Y'all follow me? Go down the road, and I'll show you what house. But watch, I tell you, you ain't going nowhere. Come on out of here. Read from it. And offer him therefore a burnt offering. Read it. Upon one of the mountains. Read it. Which I shall tell you of. Not a word. When, Lord? Read from it. And Abraham rose up early in the morning. Read it. And saddled his ass. Uh huh. And took two of his young men with him. Read it. And Isaac his son. Read it. And clayed the wood for the burnt offering. Read it. And rose up. Notice the word. The wood was a type of Christ. Y'all follow me? Yes, sir. The wood was the cross. Abraham has to do what God did. He had to give that son of his old age away. Uh, he would have never been a father of any nation. No nation. Y'all follow me? So the, so the wood was a type of Christ. Read from it. And rose up. And went into the place which God had told him. Read him. Then on the third day, Read him. Abraham lifted up his eyes. Did what now? He lifted up his eyes. Hold it. Three days in the grave. And three nights. Y'all catch that? Read from it. And saw the place afar of off. In other words, I see the mountain. He tells me he couldn't see it at home. Tell him. Read from it. And Abraham said unto his young men, Read. Abide here with the ass. Uh -huh. And I and the lad Read it. will go yonder and worship. Read it. And come again to you. Uh -huh. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering. Yes, sir. And laid it upon Isaac his son. He did what now? He laid it upon Isaac his he son. He carried the cross. <laughs> Y'all catch that? Yes, sir. They laid the cross on Christ till they couldn't, couldn't carry it no more. He laid the wood on Isaac, a type of Christ. Read from it. And he took the fire in his hand. Read it. And a knife. And they both of them went together. Uh -huh. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father. Read. And said, my father. Uh -huh. And he said, here I am, my son. Read, sir. And he said, behold the fire and the wood. Uh -huh. But where is the lamb for the burnt? Hold it, Isaac. You're the lamb. You're the lamb. I was told to kill you. I was told to kill you. And I'm not going to cross words with God. Yeah. Abraham gets up there. Y'all, think about it now. The first thing he do is look around, making sure he heard God's voice. Look around and try to find a sacrifice. You follow me? I guarantee so help God. He looked everywhere up on that mountain. Praying he was wrong. Read from it. And Abraham said, My son, uh -huh. God will provide himself a lamb Read for a burnt offering. Read so him. they went both of them together. Read. And they came to the place which God had told him of. Read it. And Abraham built an altar there. Read it. And laid the wood in order. Uh -huh. And bound Isaac his son. Read. And laid him on the altar upon the wood. Read him. And Abraham stretched forth. They his laid Christ on the wood. And now nails in his hands and feet. Read from it. And Abraham stretched forth See, his first hand. of all, you can't nail him on the cross standing up. How you going to nail Christ on the cross standing up? Had to lay it down and then stand it up. Yes, sir. Read from it. And took the knife to slay his son. Do what now? And took the knife to slay his son. Hold it! Now I jump to, jump to Romans again. 18th verse. 418 for real quick. Don't y'all move it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Romans 4 and 18. Read. Who against hope. Read. Believed in hope. Hold it. Against hope. Believed in hope. The man didn't have no kind of seed in him. At a 
100 years old. I know men have keep on having children, but 100, that's going well, praise the Lord. Y'all follow And that's an old seed. Read for me. Now, y'all wait. First of all, first of all, mongoloids, because a mongoloid ain't got to be by no old man. No, 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 no. A mongoloid is a mongoloid. It's a demon in that child. Y'all follow me? What no old man? Well, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Who no. against hope Read. believed in hope Read up. that he might become the father Read. of many nations Read up. according to that which was spoken. Read up. So shall uh -huh. thy seed be. Read up. And being not weak in faith. Do what now? And being not weak in faith. Read. He considered not his own body. He didn't think about his body. Read from it. Now day, uh -huh. when he was about a hundred years how, old. How? A hundred years old. Read it. Neither yet the deadness Read. of Sarah's womb. Read. He staggered not at the promises of God. Read. Through unbelief. Read. But was strong in what faith. Now? He was strong in faith. You tell your neighbor, you got to be strong in faith. Tell him. Be strong in faith. This is how I'm going to be strong in faith. Just do it. I'm not saying, ah, just do it. Faith me, I'm going to do this thing. Read from it. Being strong in faith. Read. Giving glory to God. Read. And what say, God, you praying him while you're awake? Yes, Read now. from it. Giving glory to God. Read. And being fully persuaded. Read it. That what he had promised. Read. He was also able to perform. Read, sir. And therefore, it was imputed to him. Do what now? It was imputed to him. Read. For righteousness. Hold it. He believed what God said. Because he believed what God said. God put righteousness upon him. And there was no faith then. I said there was no faith then. Y'all follow me? It was believing what God said. It was no faith then. Faith didn't come to the New Testament when Christ authored the faith. Y'all follow me? There was no faith then. It was just a man that believed what God said. Read it for me. Verse 23. Now it was not written for his sake alone. Go ahead, sir. That it was imputed to him. What now? That it was imputed to him. Who is it written for? Read from it. But for us. What now? For us. Read also. How that? He believed. Yes, sir. He didn't have the Holy Ghost. Christ wasn't in him. He's in us. And some of y'all still don't believe. Y'all follow me? There was no faith until the New Testament. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Go back to Genesis. Go me real quick. Verse 10 continue. Read it. And he took the knife uh -huh. to slay his son. Read it. And the angel of the Lord Read it. called unto him out of heaven and Wait said. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. The knife was coming down to kill it. And this is why he became the father of all the nations. He did the same thing that God did. If you think Abraham wasn't crying, you crazy. He saw no sacrifice. Sometimes when you want God to do something, you got to go all the way. But I promise you, he'll meet you at the way. Come on out of here. Go all the way. Don't stop short of nothing. God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Abraham said, in his mind, he was saying, if God killed this boy, yes, sir. you already promised me, Come you got to raise him from, yeah. from the dead or give me another son. That's right. Jesus. But God had to test him. We're in a test mode now. All the world, all the church world, in a test mode. You going through things like nothing went for you in your life. You ask yourself, where's God at now? Help God for me. Amen. You going, amen. You going through something. I'm telling you. Because you're in the test mode. I'm going to say something the night before God. It's because he's making up the ones that are going to heaven. Let me say it again. He's making up the ones that are going to heaven. Once it's not going to heaven, 
then you're going to tell who they are. Before they suffer, they'll leave church and get a dollar more on their job. Because they don't really believe that God's going to bless them. Amen. Those that blow to God, blood wash, tongue talking, that I don't care what happened. If I, if I got to get some candles in my house, got to throw water from the stove, no. I'm going to trust and believe God. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. What Abraham said. If my son dies, God got to give me another one. Read for me. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Read. Abraham. Uh -huh. And Abraham, he said, Here I am. Read. Her. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the land. Read. Neither do anything unto him. Read. For now I know. No, what now? For now I know. Say it again. For now I know. Read. That thy fear is God. Now I know you believe me. Read for me. Seeing thou hast not withheld thy son. What now? Seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son. Thank you, house. I hear you. He mixed that thing up there. Read for me. Thine only son from me. Hold it. That's why he's the father of all nations. He made the impossible possible. Come on. Read for me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes. Read. And looked. Huh? And looked. Read. And behold behind him. Read. A ram caught in the thicket. Hold it. The ram wasn't there. The obedience of the knife killing his son bought the ram there. You want something? Remember that story. When you get to your last end's wit. And you keep your trust in God, whatever you want, he's going to do it. He's going to test you to the last second. Yes, sir. And some of y'all, if you'd have waited one more second, you'd have got your blessing. But you wouldn't do it, though. When you go in your pocket, you say, give the 20. I'm going to get this dollar. I got to have car fare. God will never, ever tell you to do nothing he won't bless you for. Y'all follow me. Amen. And you tell somebody, remember the story. Remember the story. Say, Abraham, Abraham. is still being blessed. Still being blessed. Say, every day, day. somebody is born, born, that's Abraham's blessing. blessing. Y'all follow me? Yes, sir. See, the nation means from the rest until the Lord gets back, everybody that's born belongs to Abraham. All because he trusted God. This is a unique ministry. For over 40 years, we fed to poor, we housed, we clothed. Otherwise, a lot of people wouldn't have anything. This is good ground. The Bible says in Proverbs 19, 17, if you give to the poor, you lend to the Lord. That what you give it, he's gonna give it back to you. We just love this ministry because people come from everywhere and we help them. And that's what it's all about. Good ground means he that's given it to the poor, lend it to the Lord. And that what you give him, he's going to give it back to you. So consider sending donations here and let God bless you. Thank you. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas.
Christmas. And you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. This is the season for Jesus. <laughs> yes. Bless all of you. Yes. And so we look at Jesus is the reason. He is the season. Yes. And he's all that wrapped up in one. Yes. And we thank God yes. for having another holiday, yes. another Merry yes. Christmas. And this year has yes. been a year, but we thank God for everything he has yes. done. Now, you may not year. believe that we're already having a good time. Yes, yes. we are. 2021 <laughs> is here. <laughs>